guys. Nice. Welcome to another video of us sharing the secrets to our happy home. And today we're going to be talking about house chores. Uh, something Ooh, that... House chores. <laughs> something... I'm not doing anything now. That's it. I quit. <laughs> no more house chores for me. You're not going to eat like nothing. I'm like Cinderella. <laughs> You're not going to eat nothing. <laughs> oh, no, I won't get fed. <laughs> So again, house chores is something that uh, causes a lot of arguments mm. in families and arguments between husband and wife. Yeah, I don't want to do gonna house kill her. chores. <laughs> she makes me do house chores. <laughs> I'll kill you later. It's true though. <laughs> but it is true though. It's true. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's a man's worst nightmare when a woman comes up to him and says, the word. Can you start helping me with the washing or the cleaning or the cooking? And you think, what? Mom, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's true. So this is how we dealt with when the uh, subject of chores came up yeah. and this subject came up before we got married because I've always known that the person I was going to be uh, married to had to help with the chores. Um, so as soon as I knew that me and Jazz were getting serious, it's something that I brought yeah. up and said like, you know, you don't help. Um, we need to start sort of like talking about how we're going to share the chores and yeah. stuff like that, <laughs> isn't it? Which we discussed in one or two of other videos. Yeah. Uh, Primrose approached me out of the blue. Yeah. While I was sitting there having a beer, <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> drinking, but I was sitting there and she said to me, look, babe, you need to help. We yeah. need to like come up with a plan of when are you going to do, what you, what kind of chores you're going to do. Yes. And what and stuff basically we can share 50-50. That's it. Because Primrose works, I work, or, yeah. and we need to basically make sure that one isn't, it's a fair relationship. We're exactly. trying to make it fair. You know it's a I mean? partnership, right? I can't come home and just sit on my butt. That's it. And say, go and make the dinner. Yeah. By the way, did you wash my clothes? I can't do that. Yeah. Or did you, are you going to wash up afterwards? Yeah. Or are you just sitting there? Definitely. Because again, that's going to build resentment. Mm, and definitely. We don't want to get resentful in our relationship. I want that's my missus it. to be happy. Yeah. And just like she wants me to be happy. So she stepped up to me. She said, look, babe, we need to sit down. And one of the ways that she did it was to say, okay, why don't you start, we'll start small, why don't you just, is there some one part of the house you, you'd be happy to clean? So I was like, okay, how about this, how about I clean the toilet and the bathroom? I was like, yes. And I'll do the hoovering. Because <laughs> I hate cleaning the bathroom. So I just room. said that, I said, how about that, but I can't wash clothes. Yeah. Because I didn't know about colours, so I didn't want to get involved with that. Yeah. And I can't cook at that time. So she was like, okay, fine, but you do realise at some point you're going to have to learn how to cook as well because I'm, I can't yeah. cook every day. I was like, cool, this is what we'll do then. So we made a decision, but what we think is the best idea yeah. is definitely write down a list of things exactly. that are involved in your relationship. In the, in the house, yeah, Yeah, in exactly. the house, that so are chores. Make a list of mm. every single thing that you do. Cleans, whatever, shopping, shopping putting taking the, the bins away. out. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then you can sit down, make it fun, and say, mm. okay, so which job do you want? And he can pick from the list the job he wants to do. Mm. I'll pick, he picks, and then... Whatever the job, the hated, the hated jobs are that are <laughs> left over, you can toss a coin. Yeah. Because that's what we do. Yeah. I just say, look, we'll just toss a coin, and you can do that. And then what we'll do, we'll switch it up every month or something. So exactly. one month you can do it, and the next month I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Like, obviously, I don't really like hoovering, so... We'll just switch it up. So some months you'll do it, yes. and a couple of months I'll do it. Yeah. So that's the way we work it in our house, and I think it's really important because again, you're going to get really peed off yeah. if you're coming home and your partner's like, "Okay, I'm in my pajamas now. I'm going to go sit down," and then your wife's or your or your husband, for that matter, yeah. is like, "Okay, I'm going to wash the dishes and I'm going to cook," and then he's doing that every day or she's doing that every day. It's not fair. Yeah. You know and then I mean? on top of it, we just think like, if you just communicate it, it becomes easier, mm. and then. The funniest thing is, once you started mopping and sweeping and cleaning, you became like, take your shoes off, I just mopped. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I just pissed. cleaned that floor. Yeah. And I was like, see what I mean? When I was saying, it's like, oh, what's the big deal? Yeah, what's the big deal? You're going to mop it in a couple of days again. And it's like, no, 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 you take your shoes off. And so like, now it's like, I just mopped, take your shoes off. Yeah. So it's funny. So like once your partner gets starts getting involved in cooking and cleaning, they actually proud. yeah they yeah. get respect on the time and the effort it takes to get that stuff cleaned. Definitely. And then now everyone just keeps it clean, mm. isn't it? It's mm. a lot easier. Everyone just in the bathroom when you finish doing whatever you're doing, just wash the taps and just you know. Yeah. Make because it clean. at the end of the day, if you don't delegate chores in your house, that's yeah. definitely going to cause argument at some point. Oh, it is. I mean, obviously in the old school relationships, Things the different. woman did everything and the man just sat there and did nothing. Yeah. But that didn't make the relationship any better. No. That actually made uh, the woman and man just stay in the relationship because they were married. They hated each other yeah. normally. Normally the mums or the dads are busy slagging each other off and you find that in a lot of relationships, the yeah. old school ones. 
and they're like, yeah, and the guy expects his wife to do everything. I know, they refuse literally, to help. Literally wipe his butt. Yeah, is that they bad? refuse to help. Yeah. yeah, and the guys just refuse to help. Yeah. And that's, I, I don't agree with it. No, I don't. But I think I think you should both help each other and that creates a stronger, stronger team, stronger bond. Yeah, because I think if you yeah. love me, why are you going to want to see me suffer? Yeah. If I see you suffering, I'm no, thinking, no, oh, I'm going to help you out. Definitely. Yeah. And, um, and then like we also discussed, okay, once kids came along, mm. we definitely want the kids to be involved in doing chores. Yeah, you were good with that. Yeah, yeah, because again, like I said in my last videos, I've got older sisters and you learn from watching other people and mm. stuff that they don't do and you think, oh, okay, I'm going to do this differently. Oh, oh they do that quite well. Mm. I'm going to do that as well, right? It's because you're constantly learning all the time. But you also saw with me and in, in our household yeah. uh, from an Indian background. That's it. Generally, your mum does everything, and because yeah. of that, I been I didn't boy. lift a finger. No, especially being a guy. Yeah. So w she's basically seen that, and Primrose said, "Look, we're not going to have our kids like that. No. So when we do have kids, I will be setting little chores for them as they get older. Yeah, even so, if it's a boy. Yeah, he's not going to be. Oh, it's a boy. I was like, even if it's a boy, he's going to have to do chores because yeah. you know, babe, in this in these days, men." need to start knowing mm, how to look after themselves and it, by the time our kids get to our age things are going to be a lot different than they are now mm. so you need to be able to rely on yourself 100 percent. but we're, we're i'm already the modern man really. yeah you are now exactly. uh, a lot of guys are i mean i've got friends that are married now and you see they do everything of course because and, that's the way it is and, and i'm like wow like yeah that's good that yeah. you help out like that exactly uh, but i could have been in a relationship for example if i was with at home at, with an indian girl i would have still been not doing anything no yeah. Uh, honestly, and I would have been overawed by my friends, yeah. but now my friends are doing it. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm better than you. I can actually wash clothes. I can uh, cook. Yeah. You can't cook a move from scratch. Well, you can, but you can't cook like I do. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? So <laughs> now like, they're competing. Yeah. <laughs> I can do yeah. that. In a way, that's good. Yeah. I'm because... the guy that can take care of myself if something goes wrong. Yes. God that's... forbid in my life. <laughs> you know it. what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. yeah so once we had the kids, um, we started off with tiny things. You mm. know, kids understand a lot more than sometimes we give them mm. credit for. So Phoenix is too, he's been doing his job since like literally before he could walk. Whatever yeah. you could do, like, oh, can you pick up your nappy and put it over there? Yeah, you were doing the exactly. nappy thing, yeah. Yeah, can you just go and get a clean nappy and bring it to mummy? And with they'll the, go and the get it. and they'll go and get they'll it. They'll go and get it. Same thing with Havana we did. Yeah. Uh, Havana's um, chores in the mornings is to take the bottles down yeah. that Phoenix is drunk. Yeah. So, but she's give, everyone's given chores. That's her They're one. They're tiny little things. So but, tiny things, yeah. pick them up. Take them downstairs, put them next to the sink. Yep. You have to do it every morning. Yeah. Uh, another thing is the Phoenix will pick up all the dirty clothes yep. and the nappy and take it downstairs. Yeah. He just ready throws to go it downstairs. In the bin. He thinks it's a game. Yeah, but it? he lobs it down the stairs. Yeah. He's all crazy. the clothes. Yeah, and the clothes he throws down the stairs. <laughs> and then when they get when they're downstairs, then Havana picks the clothes up yeah. and puts them in the washing, washing machine. machine. Yeah. And he helps her also. And, yeah. and these things like when this when Primrose is sweeping up, she'll give them a dustpan and broom to to like just play with it. Yeah. it. yeah, and they enjoy it, don't yeah. they? Babe? Like now, I think yeah. you saw in the video um, when I did Mummy Stay at Home, and you saw as soon as I got the hoover out and started cleaning, they just ran and got the, got their the dustpan yeah. and brush started like pretending to be yeah. helping me and cleaning. We don't discourage it. No, we don't. Because and I mean, once you start discouraging it, eventually, as they get a little bit older, and it won't, it don't have to be that much older. I'm, it could be six or seven. They won't even care anymore. They'll say, oh, no. I'm not doing it. You never exactly. told me to do it before. Yeah. Uh, and even now, now they yeah. started hustling us. Oh, Havana. Oh, mommy, can I help you with the dishes? Mm, can I wash dishes? Oh, yeah. and at first I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't really want to. But I let her, remember, me, yeah. I said to you, look, let her wash the dishes. Just let, yeah. Because yeah. I like doing it quick, 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 job done, you know. Yeah. So, so I always leave a couple of plates for Havana. Yeah, the simple ones. Mm, and Phoenix has started doing that as well. So yeah, we let them be. wash their plate yeah. each. And uh, it's actually worked out really well because hopefully at that point they'll become more responsible and understand that's part of a chore. So as they get older, we're going to stop making them do that. Yeah. This ain't child labour. <laughs> no, no, no. But <laughs> I think but you, you, need know what I mean? like, you need to learn. They're going to learn that, oh, wait a minute, we're a team in the house and everyone has to, has to help. Yeah, exactly. And they will get their little pocket money. Yeah. I mean, Primrose gives Havana uh, 10p and Phoenix 10p. Yeah. And she's got a little piggy bank. She puts her money in there. Yeah. And when mummy doesn't give her money, she tells me, mummy, daddy hasn't paid mummy. No, daddy, mummy hasn't paid me. She says to me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm I go, what do you mean? She goes, for my chores. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so she'll say, you need to give me some change. Yeah. So I can pay her. <laughs> so it's funny, like, yeah, they do all their chores and then they're finished. They're so proud. Mummy, can you come and check? So yeah. I check to make sure that, yeah, everything is done properly. Yeah. And then I count out all their 10p's. 
and they give it to them and they get so excited about for them and yeah. yeah and so like slowly we're also teaching them about money or if you spend yeah. money and stuff like that your money is going to get less this is what money is if you want to buy stuff mm -hmm. the concept of money what it is and it's funny at what they actually pick up isn't it yeah, at definitely. such a young age i mean we so, let, like for example when we go shopping i'll let havana pick up stuff from the shelf yeah i'll let her push the trolley but i'll help her i'll let Ada because i want them to know that they can help me yes I'm not going to say no yeah. because I don't want them to think daddy says no, mm. mummy says no so let's not do it and then yeah. later on they don't want to do it when you ask them to do it That's it, they, they become like, oh, lazy then oh, right, yeah. What are you talking about? That's your job, you that's do that, it. that's daddy's job Exactly I don't want that so very good from Primrise's side yeah. to do that And yeah. now we always like explain to them that we are a family and we're a team so we work together so you know if you like put the knives and forks on the table and eating dinner that helps mummy out mm. so we can all have time together to play mm. And that's something that my mum used to praise because when Havana was even just uh, under two, yeah. she used to help with the plates and the forks and knives. Yeah. And my mum used to say, Wow, look how good she is. Havana wants to say, Oh my God, look at Havana, she's so good. And I go, Mum, yeah, she does this at home. <laughs> but, expect so it. we encourage it. Whereas a lot of people say, No, you can't have that knife and fork. Give that back to me. Yeah. She's good. You just watch her and yeah. she'll take she, it. And she knows she you plates. hold it pointing mm. downwards. She'll tell you if mm. I'm holding them, I'm pointing upwards. Mummy, your knife and fork, you have to hold it pointing downwards because if mm. you fall, you won't hit yourself. So, uh, Prima is very, uh, Havana is very, very good. good. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's very on the ball. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so yeah, that's how we deal with chores in our house. It is, mm. It's not um, something that causes confrontation. Yeah. And it's something because if what will end up happening is your kids will make a complete mess. Yeah, as as it well, from when they're young, when they're older, and who's gonna fight about it? Mommy and you daddy. Too. Yeah, because you haven't. You're not a team. No. you're always expecting your wife to do it, or your wife's always expecting you to do it because you always do it as a yeah. man then it's like, oh my God, I'm sick of this. Mm -hmm. Plus your kids aren't helping you. Yeah. So you're basically just gonna <laughs> throttle each other by the end of it. So yeah. that's something that you really need to decide early, how you're gonna help your kids grow mm. up in that way and how you're gonna be with each other that's it. early on. And like we always say, like if you started off early, as early as you can in your relationship, the two of you mm. and then when the kids come, it just becomes the norm. Because you did it before marriage, didn't you? Yeah, you exactly. No, no, before yeah, before marriage. marriage because I, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, with the kids, they now know that, oh, there's chores to do and stuff like that. And it's it's nothing strange. It's just normal to them. Mm. So we just want to take that fear away and that laziness away that you just expect, oh, I'm going to sit here and mommy and daddy are going to do it for me. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, we're a team. You come and help me. And we just, you know, it just makes it easier for everybody else. So, yeah. It's conducive to a happy home. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, so that's important. and especially as the kids are getting older, it's definitely so that's definitely sorry. a tip to a happy marriage. Yeah, um, chores, <laughs> <laughs> because we know it causes so yeah. many fights. My yeah. goodness, chores, yeah. and it's funny. Like when uh, friends come to our house and they bring their kids who are sometimes older than our kids, and, they don't and then they see yeah. like Havana and Phoenix putting their toys away when they finish playing. They're like, shocked. Well, what? what? Shocked, yeah. What's happening? It's like no, no, no. They know. If mm. before we go eat lunch and stuff like that, the toys need to get put away because the house mm -hmm. cannot just be like a tip everywhere. It's like Prim, how do you do it? And it's just like it's easy. But just you also make it a game. They're young. Yes. You make it like a game. Yeah. She well, makes it fun. Prim, that's it. Exactly. She's like, the biggest kid I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's part of yeah. why it's easy because like yeah. when I'm teaching them, we just I make it really like good with them. yeah. Throw it in and see if we can go in the toy box. Let's mm. see who can get it in there. Best. Like I've got my little pile, you've got your little pile of toys, you're gonna have mm. to get them in the little uh, box where the toys go and you have to throw them in. And they think it's fun just like chucking yeah, them yeah, really yeah. quickly, let them win. And they think, wow, I can do something really good. <laughs> and but then yeah. I'm conning them. <laughs> so that covers chores yes. on our in our family. Yeah. And so yeah, again guys, if mm -hmm. um, we haven't covered any tips and you've got tips that you want to yeah, share. Yeah, how you brought your kids up. Let yeah, us we, because yeah. our kids are still... I'm still learning too. I know, yeah. I'm still learning. And our kids are still young, so, you know, as they're getting older, we, we definitely need to know, We need tips. to know what to expect when the hormones kick in. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of nightmare I was. <laughs> so, uh -huh. I was as good as gold. From a parent's yeah. point of view. No, I didn't do nothing bad, so no, hopefully they like me. I was good as good Cinderella. Cinderella over here. Yeah. <laughs> I always say when I come back in my next life, I'm going to be like... <laughs> A, a rebel, away. a tear away. I'm not gonna <laughs> listen to no one. I'm gonna make up for lost time. <laughs> but um, but yeah, definitely. I uh, share your tips in the comment section below because again, other viewers are reading those tips and mm -hmm. it helps you, it helps us, it helps everybody out. So yeah. we just want to make it a 
two-way conversation so let's uh, let's get the conversation make going. sure you subscribe at the with the, at the button below yep and um, yeah share with your friends and family and ask us any other questions that you want to know in regards to our family and we're happy to answer them that's it and again give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in our next video and that's it see you later bye guys. for now bye so today we're going to be talking about communication, communication. <laughs> which we obviously are very good at <laughs> I think we've spoken about communication so many times you probably guys are tired of hearing us saying about communication but really if there is probably one thing one thing we could say